Nkosi Johnson, born Kolani Nkosi on 4 February 1989, was South Africa's most famous child AIDS activist. He was a fighter, living with his mom, Daphne, in an AIDS care center in Johannesburg. It was there that Gail Johnson, a volunteer worker, first saw the baby boy and his ailing mother. In his short but impactful life, he strove to support the rights of children with HIV AIDS, and his legacy continues to live on through Nkosi's Haven, which houses and supports HIV-positive mothers and children. Nkosi passed away at the age of 12 in 2001, and at the time, he was the longest surviving child born with HIV in the country. In July 2000, Nkosi delivered his self-written address, televised worldwide, to 10,000 delegates at the 13th International AIDS Conference in Durban. We are normal. We have hands. We have feet. We can walk. We can talk. We are all the same. Thank you. Nkosi's haven is Nkosi Johnson's dream. The little boy with a big heart envisioned a place where HIV-positive mothers and their children could live together in a supportive environment, free from condemnation, hate and judgment. A place where they are cared for, supported and educated. A place where they are treated as equals, as human beings, as worthy of more. It's Kosi's project and, and whilst he's never seen the village, he did see our other homes and he got to know the mothers and it's what he wanted, that the mother and child unit stay together. So we work his work. We cater for mothers and children. I'm sure Gail has told you about the dream that Nkosi had to keep women and children together. I think that on its own is very special. It is like being in heaven. Because my kids, we live in comfortably and I'm crippled so I, I won't be fast enough to fall, being able to prepare the kids. So they live with the caregivers, but they have access to see me every time. When I was out there, there was too much stigma and criticizing. When I came at Nkosi 7, I felt at home because no one was criticizing me with my disease. The Nkosi's Haven village is situated on a two and a half acre plot. As the name suggests, it currently creates a safe haven for 22 mothers and 121 children, half of which are orphaned. The haven lives out in Corsi's passion to create an energetic and positive environment for mothers and children. From therapy to reading, sick bays, classrooms, music, arts, and a whole lot of love, every need is met.